North Carolina is still waging a battle against opioid abuse. Each day, four people in our state die from an opioid overdose. Our Madison Forsey shows us how local leaders are trying to save lives. Well, all across Craven County, people are dropping off bags of unwanted and unused prescription medications just like this. It's all a part of Operation Medicine Drop. It's, it's the number one killer in our county. Opioids. So therefore, that's the number one priority of our offices is to go after what's killing our residents. Craven County leaders are tackling this drug crisis one pill bottle at a time. They're not properly disposed of or children can get a hold of them. Uh, so programs like this are going to be at the forefront. Operation Medicine Drop is the state's answer to getting prescription medications out of homes and off the streets. Since 2010, we have collected over 210 million pills that could have ended up in our rivers and streams or in the hands of a drug dealer. Jim Eisenach is taking advantage of Monday's drop. Instead of flushing them down the commode, what a lot of people do, we said let's bring them up here so we don't harm whatever groundwater gets into it and everything. He handed over 25 bottles. Just a good thing to do. Some half empty. Get it out of other people's hands. Others completely yes, sir, full. We got a grandson that comes over and I don't want him getting in there and getting into it. Even though fewer people are dying from opioid overdoses in North Carolina, local leaders say they aren't stopping their efforts anytime soon. That's what this is going to equate to is life saving. Every, every uh, opioid that is turned in today, uh, that's one less opioid that could find its way out onto the street and take a life. For more information on the story as well as other drop off locations, you can visit WNCT.com. In Craven County, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side.